Oh, good old hydromist.net. Not a thing anymore, sadly. Dude, this was hype. Because this was, um... There was no... This was literally rank one on the ladder, right? Not like rank one title or something. It was literally rank one on the ladder. This is HT. Wait, auto 360p. Hello. Okay, there we go. 720. Wait, what's our win rate? It's not bad, actually. We're pumping. 256 with 37. I can't complain. This was the Priest Mage in season... I don't know what season this was. I think it was like season 7. Let's see. who, What teams were it? Oh, dude. This was... Um, this was fucking Shale and... and uh, Penelope. This is like... I don't know if anyone ever saw this little fucking... This uh, detail, right? But their team name, uh, their team icon wasn't this, right? It was something else. And I changed their team icon to like a a shadow of death with a cross for it because the priest never deathed any polys. <laughs> I feel like no one ever noticed that, by the way. <laughs> any of the teams on the list still playing? Uh, I don't think so. Wait, I'll have to check, actually. Wait, let's go back and see what teams it was. I don't know, because in TBC, Wanted Midgets was Dahl and some Lock. I can't remember what the lock was called, but I think it was a different different team in Wrath. I think it might have been a Druid Rogue, weirdly. No, 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 that was TBC as well. This is the Rogue that I played with um, RMP with in TBC. With Riv. He was playing Mage, yeah. This is really weird, right? Already. I guess I think, oh yeah, we're going to go Priest. PI doing damage sim. Probably should have been Dispelling, not doing damage. But then we just like don't go on him. Changed our minds for whatever reason. But like th this this play here could never happen now. This was like, I don't even really know how this opener happens. Like the Priest is in Sheep. And we're just like crossing the whole map and Rogue hasn't even opened yet. I guess like neither Rogue wants to open, but I don't know how we didn't get the, we didn't get Sheep by their mage. Hard to see on here. Maybe you get CS on it. Let's have a look. This is this is already like a thing to note. He tries to shoot me, but I jump off, I guess. So there was no CS. It's like here, this priest is dead. Like straight up dead. He has no shield. We can purge him for free. If we get stunned on him, he just dies. But I think Kali is like expecting the rogue to open on him, so he vanishes off. And rogue doesn't open. I should be throwing out some novas here because probably rogue is running around looking for the opener on Kali. We reopen on priest. Okay, there's there's the rogue opening finally. Potential death blind there, but wasn't the easiest one in the world. Fear not up yet. We get a nice little jump, but Mage wasn't casting Polly anyway, so it didn't really help. Run back up. I think I actually fuck up my fear here. Yeah, look, I, I'm trying to press fear, but it's not up by like one second. And now it's up. So like, I actually choke here. I could have feared everything if I waited like one more second. And we jump down for the him. I don't really know why. Okay, so Kali's... I think into cheap kidney, so we threw a PS and jumped down and hymned, and we did a nice little uh, nice little transition to another him. Death the rep is nice for some reason. We don't have class colored nameplates on. Interesting. Shout out to fucking no one for helping me with that edit, the, the mage. Little MC on the mage to force trinket. Gets the deep. Huge blind by Kali. To be honest, he makes this clip. Damage in the kidney forces the mage block into a full fear. Trying to get the, the slows off him so he can stay on priest. Lining the sheeps. I think he gets a kick on one. Gadges this one. I think he kicked the first one. So actually he didn't need to line as much, but managed to line this one, that was good. Getting the Nova off. Just basically playing train the priest, right? Which nowadays is 
is kind of like noob, right? Like as Priest Asa, this is like the the low skill ceiling version. Like you, if the Priest Mage is good, this Priest won't die. And Kallius is going to get kited for the rest of the game because he's Asa. But the Mage kind of gets fucked over a lot at the start with the CC and doesn't peel his Priest properly as a result. And then we get momentum and now we just pun punish him really hard because he has no CDs left. I should have death that one. Trinket it, but it was an easy death. I actually thought he was sheeping Kali. Oh, I remember this 2v3, actually. I think we were really close to winning this. It's like a hype survive. Yes, yeah, so you don't see the rest of the clip, but we actually almost win the 2v3, but it's kind of, there's nothing that, ha that happens after there. Interesting, you got Phil Dries in the chat. He says, uh, like, we will own you, hopefully. They were like an RMP, but way worse than us, and they actually ended up beating us in f uh, fucking LAN, because they could uh, hear all our calls. They, they got sat opposite us, and they could hear all our calls, but then everything that they were saying was in German. So thanks to Blizzard for that one. But like on ladder, we would like 10-1 them and stuff. It, was, it shouldn't have been close at all. So that was, that was annoying. It, I mean, th this like screw noise cancelling headphone tech, like it literally just sat us on the opposite side of the room, right? It's like the games that weren't streamed. But, like, they knew the matchups that were coming, and then they just fucked the seating plan regardless. It's like, they were, it's unreal how clueless they were. The admins. Alright, let's see what happens in this opener. So, like, Priest Mage should beat Mage Rogue. So, we get cheap shot. Flynn is kind of stacked with us. PS the opener. Rogue vanishes off. We should have should have had a Nova on the Rogue there, really, and potentially, like, AoEing him out on the Vanish. Rather than pressuring the Mage so much. Don't get a dispel on Flynn's CS. And the Sheep lasts quite a while, but we're kind of low, so... It's uh, not completely unreasonable. Mage DRs is deep freeze. And we get the wound off. I'm just not using fear. I can use fear a lot better here. Like, I'm delaying the fear so much. Like, even at the start here. We get cheap shot. Do we, does he leave a gap? No, he doesn't leave a gap. So he kidneys and vanishes off. Okay, so this isn't really our fault. And then the rogue is on us here again. Trying to nova him out, which is fair. He DR's cheap shot. Like, we can just fear him right here, right? And that's fine. Still not fearing, still not fearing. So this is like a big leak from me, right? I used to use BM Trinket really early as well. Uh, so where are we now? So now we finally get the fear off. Uh, into a deep, and we just kill him in the deep. So, like, you see how ridiculous it is when people come and say, oh, do you think you were better back in the day than now, right? Like, I'm literally just shitting all over this gameplay. Like, there's so much in every clip that's, like, easily improvable. There's my boy, Gingis. So here we're playing against a Shaman that has 300 MS. 
So it's uh it's not the most hype clip, but get the triple fear actually this is nice. We're going for damage here, not burns. Okay. Shaman trinkets. Lock trinkets as well. So we got both trinkets in the opener, which is really nice. They overlapped hard here. Probably didn't both need to trinket there any in, in any way, shape, or form. Going for burns here. Trying to force a CS likely, but I'm not sure if he even has it. I think he used it on uh, Flynn already. So we could have gone for just a penance on him here and topped him and been a bit more safe. Relying on the palm healing mostly here. Get the double fear. Shaman is kind of far. So this is okay. This is a good fear, I think. Line the horn. Kind of fuck up my penance there. Not sure if I was trying to fake the kick. Maybe I was. Putting up the dot. Could have maybe put up a second door. I don't see a cleansing totem anywhere. Getting some burns off. This is nice. Trying to force kicks basically on myself so Flynn could do damage. Flynn's still a bit low. Probably should try and get a bit bit more healing on him earlier on. Get a fear on the pet and the sham. It gets broken instantly by the frostbolt. So this is a bit of a choke. Probably could have killed the shaman here if not. I think if there's me and Riv there in, in you know this day and age and I get the sphere... Like, we don't break it if we're playing well. They don't have any trinkets, and Lock is getting sheeped, and we're going to full pump this shaman in in deep. And we either burn him twice in his room, and we just kill him, or we um, we pressure him so much that he just fucking flops. Yeah, this is full default UI. Shadow of Death. This was before there was, like like well-known at least scripts to move frames in and stuff but definitely improvable so what happens here could have uh here we get the fear and he just dies but he's already low right all right what do we got here pallet dk so actually going on the pallet I think that's something as well. Like somehow the quality of the palas is way better now. But also, I think Al uh, Asa has a really good good chance to shit on the pal. So, yeah. Get a nice MD here. You can see the batching actually. Look at this. Look at this MD. Look at it when it lands. Right. Actually, the bubble is up. It just takes a second to come off. Yeah, the classic edits, just for the sake of it. Fuck it. And no resist on MD. That was a good MD for the time. No class kind of nameplates, is Monkus. Didn't get the dispel and then got resap. Greeted for the Nova. That's okay, that happens. King the dispels now. And we sap the rogue actually, so we have a super good opener here. So I should like I should be pushing to the priest to fear now. I'm going for the burn instead. That's okay. I kind of zone him a bit. Get a resist because he's drowning. But that happens. There's no reason for me to jump down here. We have the opener. I should be pushing on the priest. Priest fields now. This is a really bad field, obviously, because he's not in melee range. He's not trying to field with the buff or anything, and he has no buffs left, so I can easily remove it. So I actually managed to do that. I somehow lose this fear duel. I'm, you know what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to get a double. This is completely fucking terrible by me. Here, this priest should be getting feared right now. And then we go to look to Nova the rogue so he doesn't sap our rogue. Instead we have to will the sphere. Do we find the rogue? Rogue gets the sap. We find him now. It's fortunate. Rogue fucked up. He could have lined it down here. Priest is burning now. Finally we get a fear on him. No, we still don't fear him. Wait, is it on cooldown? I can't even see. I think it might be on cooldown. There's no, no fucking cooldown numbers, by the way. It's Monkaz as hell. So we're backing off now. Somehow with the opener, we're like miles behind, right? Which is super bad. We're also using the Winter Grasp Trinket, right? Which is interesting. For extra spell power rather than Razil. Going for a drink here. Kali's at the top. I believe he's on stun DR, so he's okay. Cloaks. No, he's not on cloak. So he does a really good cloak and pre-cloaks the kidney. But trinkets it anyway. And I'm just trading basically his cool lands for a drink because of early game fuck-ups. So it's well played by him here. Yo, Z with the raid, my dude. Good timing. We're just shitting all over Hydra 7. 
Do we? Okay, so we get the rogue. He gets the eye. Uh, the eye didn't really do much for them here. Uh, I'm interestingly looking. You can see here, I'm not actually playing with two out of two grace, which is this is what happens when you're not playing at two out of two grace, right? The dispel protection just goes. So this priest is good. This shield is coming straight off, and they're gonna have a really good pressure on him now because he has no cloak. They force PS anyway, which is okay. Probably can be throwing a burn or two on the priest here, actually. Like, while the PS is up, the rogue Kali is completely fine, right? So, like, penance is kind of okay, but, the, like, this flash heal doesn't need to happen. He's completely fine. This this can be, like, one or two burns on the priest and the game ends. Now, instead, we just trade burns and... He has fiend up as well. We should be trying to avoid that more as well. I guess he doesn't have evasion left. At the very least, he can like slow it and cut it. Hope you had a good stream, Zima. We got the rogue cloak, and I think Kali should stay up and re here. But the eye is not up on our side, so. Priest is getting a drink. Fiend is going to him, actually. He cancels the drink and hymns for no reason. That's a weird one. We get good damage on the rogue here. Shield comes off. Where's the next one? There it is. So this... Sh sh we should be trying to dispel that shield fast, but it's okay. Here we're going to push for the fear. Late field on the fear. Priest just somehow doesn't fear into it. Like, reactions are just omega slow back in the day or something. I don't know. Priest getting a hymn of hope here. I'm just nuking the shit out of the rogue. It's like, you see why I'm saying, right, rank one players would not get glad. Like, this this game was really bad in terms of a mirror. Like, you, any priest rogue now at glad level would shit on us in this game. Based on how we... How, I say we, how I played it. I didn't play it well at all. Rest of Druid Hunter basically isn't a thing. Uh, maybe the patch that it was on, but yeah. I'm just trying to run to the Druid to fear him, basically, on mount. Get the fear, actually, which isn't too bad. The, ro uh, the Hunter's actually playing uh, survival. We're just going for the Druid out of the fear, which is a standard strat. This is not too bad. We get the Trinket on the deep. Does he have CS? Snap deep, the highlight of the clip. And Fiend going in for the MVP kill. Even so, I didn't realize how fucking strong the Fiend was in terms of damage back then, which is interesting. I, I want to know where his CS was. Where does he see... Okay, here he CSs. CSs into the deep. No, this is a good CS. And there's the trinket, okay. We still get the trinket through Barkskin and uh, some hots. We get the nice little death on Wyvern. 100% intentional. Druid stayed mid. I mean, it was kind of because of a fear, right? Like, here. This is why he's there. The problem was the hunter didn't really peel. I don't know where his scatter goes. Hunter's in a sheep here. I'm at least Novering to assist in that insta damage at the last minute. So not the worst game. Okay, we're against Priest Rogue here. Oh, this is when... Okay, so this is when you could spam Rocket while, you, like, casting a spell, it, predicting that he's going to vanish. And what will happen is the spell would stop, but the Rocket would go off and break the vanish. So watch what happens here. This was, this was uh, super OP to do. So I'll show you one more time. It's good that I'm staying relatively back here.
thank fuck for that, Zippy. This map's complete garbage. Troublesome was like a renowned cooldown spammer. Gets killed in cloak, which was hype. 